Hi, I'm Sean Powers, and I'm here to help you learn everything. Do what you love, and most importantly, be kind. But more specifically, we are going to start the Linux Plus series, learning to get the CompTIA Linux Plus certification. This is a little bit of a late start because I had horrible hardware problems that are a thing of the past. That was me knocking on wood. Hopefully that holds true. Um, but I want to give you a quick intro. This video that you're watching now is the temporary intro. This will be deleted once the course is done. This is kind of the like, I want to get us started, but I'll have a better intro when we're done. So temporary intro, here we go. Now, when I'm demonstrating all the various things, I'm going to try to use two systems. I'm using Ubuntu Mate and Rocky Linux 9, which is kind of like the new CentOS. CentOS is no longer a direct byte for byte copy of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So that's what Rocky Linux tries to do. So I'm going to use Rocky Linux for the Red Hat stuff, Ubuntu Mate for the Debian slash Ubuntu stuff, and the stuff that doesn't matter, I'll probably default to Ubuntu because it's just what I really like to use all, all the time. But anyway, I am using VirtualBox, which is completely free. I have also added uh, the add-on extension package so that I can use RD, what is uh, RDP to remotely watch them because while you can use VirtualBox to, you know, control like with their little window, like their little visual window to actually use it, it really messes with my recording. So I like to use remote desktop and that requires you put the add-ons, which if you're doing it for your own personal use, that's perfectly fine to do. So, um, Using RDP allows me to set up a tabbed interface so I can go between them while they're running. It's actually really super cool. I will show you that. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll show you that now. And this is a little bit hard to see because, you know, I try to make it as tiny as possible up on the top of the screen uh, so that it doesn't take up the space. But this is a little tabbed interface up here. If you see at the upper left, I'm switching between. And this is just a program. It's a free program. I think it's even open source. It's called like, what is it called? RD tabs. I'll put a link in the description uh, of the video below if you want to try it. But it's just a really great way to get a tabbed interface to remote desktop stuff. And then I'm just connecting to my virtual box uh, right here on my own personal computer. All right, so it's something you can replicate and, and install on your own and follow along just so you know what I'm using and you'll be able to use the same thing. I also recommend that while you do stuff, before you make any major changes, I recommend taking a snapshot in VirtualBox. That's just so you can roll back if you mess something up. I do that because I mess stuff up. I don't always leave the mess ups in video, but sometimes I do. Anyway, snapshots are a great way to give you a spot you can roll back in time because it's just that. It's a snapshot of the system. Uh, so any changes you make get reverted to the snapshot when you go back. Now, now, when it comes to the actual material, the actual objectives, I'm getting straight from CompTIA, the new revision that came out July 12th, 2022. And it looks like this. This is just a, a snapshot of the PDF file that includes the, the various objectives. And it's broken up into sections like section 1.0 is system management. Section 1.1 here is summarize Linux fundamentals. Now, also, I do have a course, Linux Essentials, that will give you all this stuff and even more so if you're not comfortable with linux at all i recommend you look at that course i'll put it, put it like up in the corner i'll put a link to my linux essentials course which is actually a certification you could get uh, but even if you just want to get more familiar with linux before diving into linux plus that will help you out but what i wanted to show you here yes this is the objectives i'll put a link to the objectives in the video description here as well uh, but it's just broken up into these big chunks like section 1.1 but this is going to be a lot of video and sometimes it gets monotonous if there's super long videos and a long time between videos if i have to make like a you know an hour and a half long video so i plan on breaking them up into chunks like the section 1.1 will probably become 1.1.1, 1.1.2, 1 3.4.5 and they're going to loosely follow the chunks, right? The the little bold bullet points there. I'm just going to break it up into sections. I mean, this isn't rocket science here. It's just so if you see like 1.1.3 and you're like, that is not in the objective list at all. It's just 1.1 that I've broken up into multiple pieces. I just wanted to make that clear before I start. That's what we're doing. So when you follow along in your objective list, again, that's in the description so you can download it, uh, you'll know where I am and why I named it the way I named it.
Now, if I make any changes to the standard VirtualBox networking, like isolated network to set up DHCP, I don't really remember all the things that we're going to cover in this Linux Plus course, but if I make network changes, I'll point them out. VirtualBox allows you to do some things, but I'll make sure that I point out that I've done something behind the scenes that make my setup work differently than the setup that you can install and follow along with yourself. Now, another, a couple other housekeeping things. I plan, I was thinking about doing a live stream every so often. Do you think that would be beneficial? Like during the creation of the course and maybe even after it's done every so often have a live stream where people could ask questions i could respond we could just you know shoot the breeze whatever it might take if that sounds like it might be interesting to you how often do you think that should happen uh what what sounds like a reasonable amount of time for questions or interests or uh or how long before people forget how horrible the last one was so they might come to the next one uh let me know what you think might be an appropriate time frame if it even seems like a good idea to do a live stream at all and if you want to help along the way uh please subscribe to my channel hit that notification uh thing wherever it is it's like a bell that way you'll get notified when the videos come out and even more importantly if you know anybody who might benefit from free complete no, no nothing hidden i mean i'm giving this all away for free uh linux plus course please send them to my channel uh so that they can follow along too uh the youtube algorithm is great for connecting people to the stuff they want but nothing beats uh actual first-hand recommendation so if you want to help me uh be able to create for more people I would appreciate it, and that's something you can do. So I'm going to stop this video, and hopefully before today is out, the first actual video of the course will drop. And remember, this video is going away once the course is complete. So if you're watching this, you're part of the elite few that get to watch this video, which will only be here until the course is done. It's a really weird elite status to have, but you have it. I'll see you in the next video.